Not easy to get it running. My name is Angel Sanchez, and I used to have a life just like yours. Back before the world as we knew it came to an end. It was the day before my 23rd birthday. Oh, here we are. Finally. So, let's delete this one. I just tested it a bit. Didn't play. I know this game very well, but that was back in the deck days. I don't know how much I know of it now. I hope it doesn't crash too often. When I woke up this morning, I found a note someone had left for me. It was on plain white paper, and it read, Hello, Angel. You don't know me, but I know you. My friends and I have been watching you for some time, and we're rather impressed with the way you handle yourself. We could use someone like you, if you're interested in maybe helping show the Kateni whose planet this really is. And mind you, it's not going to be easy. But if you think you're up to it, there's a place in the Resistance waiting for you. Unfortunately, we can't just break into the refugee camp and induct you there. You've got to come to us. Your first goal is to get out of the camp itself without alerting the peacekeepers. If you can do that, further instructions will be waiting for you outside. Good luck, Angel. You're going to need it. At the bottom of the note was a symbol for the resistance. It could be a trap, but I can't just sit around here and rot. Not anymore. I should make a point of checking my journal after talking to people. Looking at the map frequently is also a good idea, as it'll let me know where I am and where I should be going. Okay. Should we save? Yeah, sure, why not? I better wait until the lights go down before trying to break out. There'll be fewer peacekeepers around, and it'll be easier to find a way out. Maybe I can find someone else in the camp who knows a way out. It might be worth taking a chance on. At the very least, we'll see what the Catania are really up to. Hmm. Okay. That's just the conversation. We had all that. Let's proceed. In case you're wondering um why this um does appear here on the screen, DG Voodoo. That's um a little program that's helping me run this um, thing on Windows 10. I tried like a gazillion different things, like, I don't know, um, like emulating old uh, Windows um, on a computer or, um, yeah, and the, the videos just turned out crap and the games generally generally don't run good on that emulating system. I tried emulating like Windows 95, 98, ME, XP, I don't know, tons of stuff. I already, I'm trying to get this to work for a long, long time, to be honest, all the retro games. And um, yeah, I tried to use my old PC and run. They run, of course, they run fine on the on the PC. But then I have the problem of like capturing the images, and the old PC can't handle the newer recording software. So that's like a fight that doesn't turn out well for me so far. And I have a, like a game capture card and stuff also didn't really work so I tried a bunch of different things but this finally did it so you can google it if you're looking for that DG Voodoo Voodoo uh, I think his, his name is like Deg Dege T-E-G-E -E, something like that no guarantees that there aren't any viruses on there I have like Kaspersky Antivir it didn't complain yet so use at your own risk i guess but if you want to get the game running for me it worked out very very nice really beautiful okay that's the same node 
pebble, small stones that could be used to create distractions. Yeah, so this is, as you can see, already an older game. I liked it way back then. Like, except for the horrible uh, controls, if it is, feels shaky and whatnot at the beginning, it's because I got used, got to get used to inverted axes, you know. So that's a horrendous idea that they implemented here. So if I move my mouse up, it looks like from above, and if I move it down, it looks up. So it's like inverted, and this is, confuses the heck out of me. So. The textures and everything look rough. Um, sorry for the shaking. Like I said, I'll try to make it just move it sideways so it's not that uh, distracting. I don't know what I remember of the game now. We'll see. I even walk, uh, rode a walk through for it on game FAQ or game fax I, as I like to call it game fox <laughs> yeah I'm German I can't pronounce things right sorry um, yeah like a jacket by the way she's a pretty badass Latina like her character And the background story, especially. <laughs> That's also why I love Mass Effect. I just love the whole alien invasion scene. This place is a zoo with humans on the inside. And the animals running the show? That's as good a way as any to describe Kateni and peacekeepers. This place is running short on food, on medical supplies. It's a disgrace. Maybe someone should do something about that. Yeah, that would be nice. The Resistance is trying, I hear, but it's not like they're doing too well. I mean, if they were, we wouldn't still be herded in here. Have you heard anything about what it's like outside? All I know is that I don't know what's out there, whether it's more aliens, the Resistance, or whatever. I do know that in here stinks, though. Good night. <laughs> True that. So the music appears, disappears for a minute, and it will come back later after the conversation. I hope at least it should work like that. Yeah, there it is. She's just walking around there with a with a note in her hand. Dum de dum. So that's the mall. It's a mess. You cannot, at first, I remember this, at first I thought, how can I talk to people? I didn't see the woman in the bathroom there, so the first guy you meet, if you just move ahead, is this guy. And I was, like, trying to figure out, how can I talk to him? Stand right in front of him, nothing pops up, no um, buttons work. And... Yeah, that took me some time to figure out that you can't actually talk to the guy. <laughs> so, it's just so you know what, what's coming up here. It's not like a super perfect game by any means, but it has its strengths and weaknesses. Um, you can see the sky. The mall is quite uh, ruined already. Jesus. Man, I have read, read this at Chris Port Mall so many times. She's like completely desperate. You go there and you're know, just, hey, what's up? And she goes, ah, no! <laughs> Total desperation. So many doors aren't really usable. Sometimes you can find items in the uh, rooms here to the side. 
kind of go in there. Sorry for the Yankee camera here, but really gotta get used to it. And yeah, it's like you're playing on your head, basically. <laughs> Maybe if I keep it up here, it will be more steady. Just point uh, up all the time. Please, no, don't talk to me, for the love of God. <laughs> yeah, you cannot talk to this woman either. Notice her uniform and the baton she has. She has like a welding mask or something. But some kind of peacekeeper, you might say. And there's another one. We can talk to this old lady. Angel. So good to see you again. Interesting name. Angel. I'm not sure. I got a note from a stranger, and I'm trying to figure out what to do about it. It's not a note from a young man, is it? Uh -huh, it is, and I'm going to have sex at the time. A young alien man. You know there's no time for that. Besides... Since I lost Dennis, I haven't exactly been looking. I forgot. You lost your young man in the invasion. I'm sorry, dear. I take it that it's from someone who's not a gentleman? Well... It's from the Resistance. They seem to want me to escape and join up with them. Well, that changes things, my dear. If this is real, and I suspect it is. You should ask yourself if you're ready to do that sort of thing. It's dangerous out there. Much more dangerous than it is in the camp. But I've seen you, Angel. You're not happy here. You're angry at the Kateni and you want to fight back. This might be your chance. I need a way out, Miriam. That could be difficult, Angel. The Kateni have sealed this place up tight. Then again, they don't know everything, do they? But you do. I've seen you treading in fresh fruit, Miriam. You must know how to get outside, or know someone who does. You're an observant one. Yes, I do know people on the outside. I trade with them on occasion, but not often. I also have a brother living with the scavengers under the city. His name is Lawrence, and I haven't seen him in six months. So we can already hear this is a pretty grim background and that's why exactly why I like the game. It's not like cutesy alien invasion or yay, we are the American president and are shooting the alien mothership out of the sky. That's not what's happening here. But you must have escaped and seen him, right? You have to know how to get out of here. I can't tell you how to escape, Angel. The world comes to me. I don't go to it. But talk to Seamus if you want to leave and take this for him. He's not a greedy man, but he'll want something for his help. You'll be able to find him in the collaborator's wing this time of night. He claims they need more cleaning, if you can believe that. Well, that sounds like a bad hiding place, if you call it the collaborator's wing, and everybody knows it. But you're going to stay here? I'm not going anywhere, Angel. This is my place. But if you decide it's your place to go, I want you to take this. Find my brother if you can and give him this. Something tells me you'll be seeing him soon. Okay, thanks. We've got a fresh food. Nice. So, I think we cannot talk to the guards. Should check my inventory now. Should you? Ammonia bottle. Bottle. This could be a gift for the janitor, Seamus. Okay, you never know what it's good for. Piece of fresh food for Miriam's brother, Lawrence. See what, what a fruit is worth in these times? Amazing, huh? Can we quick save? No, that's just to help. Walking? Yeah, yeah that's it. So we cannot talk to these guys. Ah, camera out of control. Help. You cannot interact with much, but mm, 
that doesn't make the game completely linear. There's still like there are some options. There are even some secrets, I think. Who are you? Damn some bitch peacekeepers. Alright. So the language isn't clean either. <laughs> of course I don't mind that at all. Are they really that bad? Yes, they are that bad. They're bullies and liars, and those are the good ones. The <laughs> Kenny asks for volunteers to keep the rest of us humans in line, and peacekeepers is what they've got. They're basically like carpos, I guess. You know. It's like a really dark, grim dark scenario. You have like traitorous humans um were guarding their own kind for a slight for for a little benefit and in the end well we'll see how they fare how they do can't anyone do anything about them not as long as they're doing the katini's dirty work for them nope and we have to take whatever they dish out Sorry, he's angry about the peacekeepers. Look at me running around. Yeah, what's up? That's some sort of a prod, cattle prod or something. Can stun you. We don't have a weapon yet. Yeah, the fighting system, of course, is a bit clunky as well. What do you want? Have you seen a man named Seamus tonight? Seamus? Haven't seen him since he was over by the packing supply store in the East Wing. Look at her clothes. Some uh, rags. Why are you out here anyway? Can't sleep a wink with all of those babies crying, people shouting and so forth. You know what I miss most about this damn stupid invasion? I miss my <laughs> own apartment where I could get some peace and quiet. Understandable. And a nice hot shower. I miss my family more. Oh. Well, everyone's got a sob story, sister. <laughs> you keep yours to yourself and I'll keep mine. Yeah, people are getting hard in these days. In these times. No funny Maybe business. Time to look at the map. Can do that. What a beautiful map, Soda. Look for Seamus in the collaborator swing. It's near packing supply store at the end of East Wing. What's up, Mr. Patron? So many places look the same here. Again, you cannot talk to these guys. I think there's one guy here you can talk to. Maybe this one. Not sure. Coming attractions, Harker the Barbarian. Some time ago, Megaplex Cinemas. Yeah, we can talk. Hey there, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. You should be doing nothing someplace else. This is a restricted area, and you ought to know that. Sorry. I forgot for a minute. Got any other helpful reminders for me? Did someone hit you on the head nine months ago, huh? Look around you, girl. This is a refugee camp. You are a refugee. I am a peacekeeper. That means that you keep your head down and your mouth shut, and when I tell you to do something, you do it! Or I go get a stun rod. You got that? Oh, I've got it, believe me. Got any orders for me now, or are you done? Yeah, got a few, but none of them are printable. You refugees think you're so tough because you mouth off a little bit and get away with it. And let me tell you something. You lost. The Kateni won. And the only smart thing a man can do is join up and make the best of it, all right? Trying to fight is like spitting into the wind. So you just rolled over and signed on. And that's why you get to wear that funny hat? All right, look, I'll make this simple for you. 
You belong in the West Wing with the rest of the scumbags, refugees, and losers. The smart folks agreed to work with the Kateni, and they're in the East Wing, the nice one in case you were wondering. And then some of us decided to join the Peacekeepers, and we work here, mostly behind this nice big locked door. And with your attitude, the only way you will ever get in there is for interrogation. Look, I hope you listened real good, because I'm not repeating any of this. What's it to you that you have to keep shouting this stuff at me? Give it a rest. Seeing as my job is keeping punks like you in line, it's plenty to me, all right? You think this uniform is for show? You really like your work, don't you? It beats sitting in a cardboard box with the rest of the losers, wondering what's going to happen next. Look, I know what my job is, what's going to happen to me, and what I have to do, all right? I'm getting fed every day and doing just fine. Damn straight I like my job. Notice that he said, uh, <clears throat> you lost the war, not we lost the war. I can see how you're so smart, seeing as I'm living here in the refugee camp and you're not. Oh, wait, you're living here too. Yeah, keep laughing. Snarky. The war's over, in case you hadn't noticed. We lost. There's nothing left. Oh, no, he said we. The resistance is a rumor or a joke, nothing more. There's nothing in here but people like you and people like me. And there's nothing out there but empty streets and broken windows. So be a good little refugee and wander back to your fridge cotton or whatever. <laughs> Get out of my face. So those are the guys, as you can hear clearly, um, that are like um, Machiavellian, materialistic types. They adapt. No matter what, fuck morals. That's a nice way of saying that you're a coward. Maybe, but I'm a live coward with a stun rod. And if you try to play hero, you're gonna be a dead idiot. <laughs> now get out of here. Yeah, that's a good first impression, I'd say, of the peacekeeper. Peacekeepers. So now let's check out the East Wing. Is there even no North East? Yeah, there's the East. It's here. They have a compass. Mm, there's a sign on the floor. That is the sign of the resistance. So then let's check out the bathrooms first. Toilet stalls look empty. I'm pretty sure in one of them there's something in one of them. Ah, camera! You're killing me! Maybe it was just that woman that I confused. That got me confused. Comic books. Again, the sign of the resistance on the floor. We'll enter there in a minute. I don't think we can talk to this peacekeeper. More bathroom stores. Nothing of interest again. Yeah, it feels kind of empty the game sometimes. So let's go in here. Stand in front of him. Good evening, miss. It's a pleasant night, isn't it? Is it? Are you Seamus? 
That's the way it always is, isn't it? There's no manners anymore, no courtesy. You're Seamus, <laughs> Seamus Reardon, and you're, you're Miss Angel Sanchez, and you live out of the old bookstore with the Tolliver family, the Hernandez brothers, and nine or ten other folks. Am I right? That's amazing. How did you know? My dear Miss Sanchez, I have to know an awful lot in my line of work. What is that line of work, you ask? Why, mm -hmm. it's keeping this place going. If you were to rely on that lot over there in the movie theater or their big furry friends, the roof would have fallen down eight months ago. You can count on that. The Cateni, at least, are smart enough to let me go about my business. It saves them trouble in the end. But you don't work for the peacekeepers, right? Let's just say there are things that I do the lads in the funny hats would disapprove of if they knew, funny hats. so I take care not to tell them. I'm no friend of the Cateni, though. You walk around this place like I have, Angel, and you'll get the sense that it can't go on like this for too much longer. There are too many people in too little space, and not enough food or medicine to go around. Maybe that's on purpose. So why not fight back and do something about it? It has to be waiting. Trust me, lass. You're not going to want to see this place when certain folks get riled up. I'm sure it won't be pretty. The way to deal with things here, if you want them done, is fast and quiet. Things like Miriam smuggling? You know about that, do you? Well, let's just say that Miriam's an old and dear friend, and she's got her wits about her. She sent you to me, didn't she? No doubt she wants me to help you escape. Well, I can tell you something about that. Escaping is easy. Escaping the right way, so that the peacekeepers don't come looking for you and tear through a dozen of your neighbors, that's hard. Are you ready to take that risk? I am. You're right on the money. So can you help me, for Miriam's sake, if not mine? I might be able to help you. I won't ask for much in exchange, either. I get the sense that you're going to be more important in all this than I am before it's over. But I can't go giving away my help for free, either. Yeah, the As chosen the one! My brother will be asking me, and sooner or later, someone will make a slip. No, it has to be this way. Miriam gave me something for you. Will this do? A bottle of ammonia, is it? <laughs> Miriam's got a sense of humor. She's a smart woman, she is, and make no mistake about that. Let me give you something in return. A key. It fits a door down in the east wing, down toward the entrance they boarded up. Use it, and you'll find yourself in the service corridor behind the shops. You'll be able to find your way out from there. Godspeed, Angel. And don't forget us in here when you're out in the world. Thank you, Seamus. Let's load his uh, cash register. Of course, that doesn't work. Amy's kitchen. Now we have a key. Maybe it would will fit in this door lock. Now all I have to do is go through that door and I'm out of here. We'll see. Mm, a lot of debris here. So we can enter some stores from the back that are closed, but it seems like they're empty as well. Not much looting going on so far. Look at this mess. Just rubbish. Jesus, that camera. Hmm. Cannot interact with that. Sad neither. And that was mission one, apparently. Okay, let's save. Mm, I think the game is crashing now. Okay, thanks for watching.